Giannis and the Bucks. But as Milwaukee is pulling away in the final seconds here, watch Lyles and Brooke Lopez getting at it a little bit, getting in each other's faces. Assistant coaches come off the benches. The bonus caught in the middle, trying to break these two gentlemen up. Milwaukee would hang on to get the lead, to get the win. Both of these men were ejected. Take a listen to the post game. I don't know what happened, but so we ain't taking no from nobody. Trust me on that. God damn it. You jackhole. Okay, angry old hoops, and I'm going to be old and angry again. Here we go. And let's start with the coach, as long as coach is up on the screen. Oh, thanks for setting. Such a great example, coach. Everybody's got to be hard. Everybody's got to be street. He's got a cuss during the press conference. He says he doesn't even know what happened. He says he doesn't even know what happened. He just admitted he doesn't know what happened. But don't matter. It don't matter because we ain't backing down from nobody. You know what? You're the coach. You're supposed to be the adult in the room. Maybe you should know what the hell happened before you start talking out your ass because maybe your player needs some discipline and not you acting hard too. God damn. It's just like the other video I made the other day. Everybody, everybody talking out their ass all the time. Is it that big of a deal that he cussed? I don't know. You tell me. You know, I was tempted to say no, but the more you just like, allow the sort of delinquent behavior, then it's just going to be one big filthy cuss fest on television. He's the coach. You weren't in the altercation. What are you heated about? Why do you need to be saying we don't take no shit from nobody? Why can't you conduct yourself in a professional manner and hope that maybe, maybe your players will follow in your footsteps? Because guess what? It turns out your player did act like a jackass. And he needs a spanking. He needs discipline. Here are the details on this altercation that, that I think are worth mentioning. Uh, you know, did Brooke Lopez have to get involved? No. Uh, I could justify what Brooke did more than what Lyles did. Because Brooke didn't lay his hands on anyone. He saw his star teammate getting shoved from behind. And said, no. No, man. That's not cool. Don't do that. Lyles, in turn, goes straight at Lopez's face. He swings, he makes contact with his face, and then he proceeds to choke him. He has his hand wrapped around his throat. And these guys got the same punishment. You know, I know I, know I try not to condone anybody acting like a badass unnecessarily, but Lopez... Didn't lay his hands on him. He had his hands down at his side and was saying, look, man, just back off of my buddy. Because what Lyles just did to Giannis was pretty messed up, in my opinion. And I give props to Giannis for continuing to walk away. Now, if, did Giannis say something to him as he was dribbling by? I don't know. I did listen to the uh, post-game press conference and he didn't say that he said anything. He claims that he was offended that Giannis dribbled in front of him. If you watch, I was just walking back with my head down. He crossed in front of me. For fuck's sakes. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is this, is this what we've reached where these punk-ass kids need to act offended because someone dribbled in front of him? You don't know where he was going. You don't know if he was intentionally heading to the bench. The game was over. If you watch, I was just walking back with my head down. He crossed in front of me. Oh, hell no. He crossed in front of you? Well, no wonder you wanted to go to blows. Hell no. Nobody crosses in front of me on a basketball court. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Shut the fuck up. Reach from behind, kind of clamped down my arms. So I pushed him arm off. And then he claims that Giannis hooked him. All right, see, now that just sounds like a straight-up lie because I didn't see that. So let's carefully look at the footage again and see if I missed something. All right, walking away. Head's not down, but it's not up either. Okay, stop, freeze, that. We need to move the camera up to look at the arms. That looks like he swiped at the ball. He claimed that Giannis hooked him. Busted. That's a lie, man. He swiped at the ball. 
And then Giannis took offense to it. Actually, Giannis has got his hands up in the air. That was all on Lyles. Take a look again. Giannis never lays his hands on him. He was passive the whole time. Just a nice classy shove in the back from Lyles. And by the way, look at the other guys. Poor Sabonis and number four. They're just like, really? Come on. This is over. This is stupid. Now, if Giannis talked some silliness right there, I'll feel a little bit bad for giving Giannis so much praise. But even if he talked a little something, what the hell? <laughs> okay, Lyles, you made an ass of yourself. You were a jerk on the floor. You lied in a press conference to try to cover it. Let's see what else you've got. It was nothing personal, but, you know, a bigger guy walks down on me. Um, I'm not really one for, for talking, I think. Uh, all right, Freeze, this is exactly what I'm talking about. All these guys are full of shit. They're all talking out of both sides of their mouths. He's, like, pretending like he was the civilized one here. And I, I don't know, what's the point about a bigger guy uh, talking down on you? Uh, I'm not one for talk. So what, we're supposed to give you props that you went straight to swinging? Like, honestly, how many of you dipshits at home were like, yeah, that's right. I'm not one for talk and I'm not one for that bullshit. I go straight to fighting. Really, is that what we're praising? He just acted like a jackass. He just put hands on Lopez's teammate. And Lopez stood in between them. He did nothing more than stand in between them. But now this guy is justified for swinging. I mean, he went straight at Lopez's face. He escalated it immediately. There wasn't any, okay, man, that was dumb. I know the game was over. He was just dribbling it out, and I got offended that he went in front of me, but you're right. Nope, nope. You know what's cool today? To not take any shit. Just swing at the guy's face, and then choke him. Choke his throat. Forget that you're an adult man a millionaire, a professional athlete on national television. Nah. You know what? Act like a fourth grade punk. Act like a fourth grade kid who doesn't know how to conduct himself. I mean, he did dribble in front of you. I mean, how can you live with that? You have no choice, right? You have no choice but to step to him. He dribbled in front of you. You know, I've showed it a lot. You know, it takes a lot for me to get uh, out of character and, uh, yeah, I'm just not going not gonna to go for that. So, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I don't understand. What does he mean? It takes a lot for me to get out of character, but I'm not going to go for that. So your character is that you can't have someone step up to you and call you out on your bullshit when you just acted like a jackass? And by the way, you're lying in a press conference. Is that part of your character? I don't even know who this guy is, but I can't stand him now. And of course, the journalist, the media guy, has to do exactly what we're all slowly learning is so shitty about our journalists and try to feed the fire more. He praises, he praises the behavior. Do you feel that kind of shows something about the makeup toughness of this team that you guys won't back down from the situation? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, a lot of people probably say, you know, it's it was cheap or whatever is at the end of the game, but... You know, it's at the end of the game, then then why initiate it? You initiated it! Um, and if you're going to do that, then you, know, you have to be ready for the repercussions of it. So, Okay, so the journalist praises him in a way and says, does this speak to the mental toughness of your team that you guys aren't going to back down? You know, he's instigating. He, he's adding fuel to the fire. And Lyles falls hook, line, and sinker. And it's like, yeah, yeah, man, you know. You have to be ready for the repercussions if you act like that. This is just makes me weep for the kids watching at home. Because I just got brainwashed into thinking that the right thing to do is after you've been a jackass is to not apologize and to be a bigger jackass. And as long as you have a speech, as long as you have a speech and you use the right words at the end of it, it makes it all okay. As long as you come up with some twisted bullshit to justify your stupid behavior, then you were a hero today. You know, I'm not saying it's right by any means, but, you know, whatever, what happened what is what happened. Again, I just, 
there's just words that mean nothing coming out of this guy's mouth and all of their mouths. Whatever happened, happened. No, you did it. Those were your actions. And they were wrong. Apologize. Don't pretend like it was someone else or like you were watching something else take place that you had no control of. Own your actions. Act like a man. Can one of you act like a man once and be like, I fucked up. Sorry. My bad. It was inappropriate. It was inappropriate. I'll improve. When's the last time a kid at home heard an adult on TV say something like that? You know, just finally own up to your mistake and admit that we all have room for improvement. Instead, this guy is claiming that someone else instigated it. He's not even in touch with the reality of what happened. And then he justifies his childish behavior for attacking somebody based on something that didn't even happen. And he basically got props for it from the reporter. All this crap about mental toughness and not backing down. Well, that was AOH's delusional moment, pretending like trying to talk some sense into any kids watching these fucking idiot divas on TV will do any good at all. But I had to get my opinion out there to go with everyone else's opinion out there because all of our opinions are so goddamn important now, aren't they? Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.